They love French fry and buttered burgers. It's no secret that some musicians have certain dietary quirks. Elvis Presley had his fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. Axel Rose has fresh water red white coupled with Dom Perignon. And Angus Young, strangely enough, Young has a penchant for something a little less extreme. His go-to meal is a concoction he refers to as a chip buddy, aka a sandwich made with only three ingredients, bread, butter, and French fries. During a Reddit AMA, Young remarked, if you said to me would you rather have a chip buddy or dine with the president, I'd say the chip buddy, and he'd probably follow suit. Malcolm was obsessed with the band's costumes. When Highway to Hell rips through the speakers at your local bar, it's easy to forget those chords are being blasted out by a man who routinely wears a schoolboy uniform in front of thousands of people, even though he's in his 60s. But Angus Young is no ordinary schoolman. On the contrary, Young's penchant for bizarre costumes didn't. In 1974, while performing at Sydney's Victoria Park, Angus donned his Year 11 Ashfield Boys High School blazer, an idea pitched by Malcolm and his sister, Margaret. To appear at a high-profile concert wearing tiny children's clothing may seem out there, but the effort paid off. Malcolm ridded the entire band's wardrobe after the gig, except for Angus's. He was allowed to keep the schoolboy outfit, and he wore it from then on. There have been 26 members. Dating all the way back to their inception in 1973, AC DC has had a steady rotation of band members outside of Angus and Malcolm Young, its two founders. Along with the Youngs, the original band consisted of vocalist Dave Evans, bassist Larry Van Crate, and drummer Colin Burgess. Since then, it's been a real who made who with 26 members popping in and out of the same roles. Granted, some have been strictly touring musicians, but with the notorious stories surrounding the band, one can't be too surprised that some members haven't stuck around for too long. Most notably, the firing of longtime singer Brian Johnson in 2016 sent ripples throughout the music industry. It's likely that fans of the band were even more dumbstruck when none other than Axl Rose was announced as his replacement for the foreseeable future. They once tried to catch the Loch Ness Monster. Following the passing of bandmate Bon Scott, then new vocalist Brian Johnson recalled a night in 1981 or 1982, in which Malcolm Young suggested the two visit the infamous Loch Ness in Scotland. Their plan was to lure out one of the world's most well-known urban legends, using only a box full of fireworks. As Johnson says, we walked straight into the water, we didn't even take our shoes off. And there we were giggling and laughing trying to set these fireworks. Everything got soaked in the water and we all fell down, and of course we thought we had seen it. We weren't sure. The band has a reputation for melting amps. Sometimes a band rocks so hard that the resulting sonic disruption causes actual fires to erupt. Either that, or some ironic deity chose an appropriate time for AC slash DC amp to surge with power and suddenly burst into flames. In the case of Angus Young, the legendary guitarist's amp spontaneously combusted in 1977 while recording the solo for Let There Be Rock. While this occurrence is definitely uncommon, it happened again while the band was recording 2014's Rock or Bust album. According to Young, yes, it was on fire, and I had to keep playing until the end, because my brother was in the control room, and yelling out keep going, 
so I had to keep going until the thing kind of went into meltdown. And on this album, Rock or Bust, we had the same thing. My amp just went on fire. And I didn't even know, I thought it was a cigarette going. But Brendan was shouting out, and you're on fire. Their music was used to bring a dictator to justice. In what has been dubbed Operation Nifty Package, the U.S. military planned to extract dictator Manuel Noriega from his bunker in December 1989, using only the power of rock. Noriega, the then dictator of Panama, found refuge from U.S. attacks in the Apostolic Nunciature of the Holy See, a veritable embassy for the Vatican. Without an outright assault on the Pope's territory, the American military was at a loss. How could they bring the man to justice without a firefight? The answer, among other songs, You Shook Me All Night Long by AC slash DC. By mounting industrial speakers and cranking the volume, the U.S. military blared high-powered rock music directly at the nunciature. Eventually, the noise grew too unnerving and Noriega surrendered. On Scott's cause of death was officially ruled death by misadventure. Perhaps the most infamous AC slash DC story is also their most tragic. After six years and seven albums with the band, original vocalist Ronald Belford Bond Scott died at the age of 33. Following a heavy night of drinking at London Club The Music Machine, Scott was left to sleep off the alcohol in a friend's car. The next morning, however, Scott's lifeless body was discovered. The star was pronounced dead on arrival as soon as his ambulance arrived at the hospital. The cause, acute alcohol poisoning, though several fans believe Scott's death to be an ongoing mystery and that the car's exhaust fumes were perhaps his true killer. Other suspicious admirers blame the negligence of a third party. Their argument cites Scott's asthma and suggests that the freezing weather might have contributed to the singer's death. In any case, Scott's demise was classified as death by misadventure in the official ruling. The drummer once tried to hire a hit. There are wild stories involving rock stars, then there are ones that border on criminal. In the case of drummer Phil Rudd, this tale definitely falls into the latter category. Although specifics of the crime have been suppressed, Rudd was charged with attempting to hire a hitman, the intended targets. Rudd was said to have offered his hitman roughly zero, and the sports car of his choice to kill some contractor and his daughter. Rudd was sentenced to eight months of house arrest after pleading guilty. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.